Hey, what's up? Welcome back to uh, this new video. This one is paper 33 of November 2022. Uh, of course, in this video, I will try to explain uh, all the questions as uh, simple, as detailed as possible. Now, with that being said, obviously, let's move on to the questions we have for you today. Now, let's move on to question number one. So here we have to solve the equation. Solving is what? Solving means find the value of the unknown, which is the value of x in this equation. And providing your answers in the end to three decimal place in the end. So one by one, here we have log or ln in this equation. So what can we do first? Let's combine these two together. First, let's send this power on top. That will become ln of x plus 1 square minus ln of x. Here we have ln of 2x minus 1. Now because these are the same, we can combine them together. That will be ln of x plus 1 square minus become divided by x. And here you still have ln of 2x minus 1. Now because we have ln on both sides of the equation, you can cancel out. There you go. Now we realize we have fraction is equal to fraction, so we can just cross multiply. You will have x times 2x minus 1 is equal to x plus 1 squared. Now take your time to expand this one first. You will have the value of what? x squared plus 2x plus 1. This will be 2x squared minus x. Now send everything to one side so we can simplify this further. So 2 minus 1 should be x squared. Minus 1 minus 2 should be minus 3. x minus 1 is 0. Now what is this? This one is a quadratic equation. Now obviously uh, we can try to factorize, but it seems that this one is not factorizable, so we have to use the, the formula to solve this one. Now one good indication is that provide your answer to three decimal place, so we should know already. It is not factorizable, it will not be exact, so we have to use the formula to solve this one. This is 1 over here, b and c. So a is 1, b will be minus 3, and c is minus 1. Fair enough, right? So using the formula is what? x is equal to the value of minus b, that will be 3, plus minus. Now we have to find b squared minus 4ac. So b squared is 9, minus 4 times a times c. That will be 13. Divide by 2a, which is just 2. Now x can be the value of, so first one is 3, plus root of 13, divided by 2. That will be 3.303. Or x can be, minus root of 13 divided by 2 minus 0 0.303 but obviously here because we're dealing with ln ln x it cannot take negative value so this one will not be valid so you will end up with only one value of x which is 3.303 three decimal place now a few things we have to know here for log or ln for example here we had 2 ln of a but the laws of log, we should know, this can be sent on top. Same thing as ln of a squared. That's what we did here. We sent this on top of the power. The next thing we should know is when you have ln of a minus ln of b, because these two are the same, it is equal to ln of a minus become divided by b. Similarly, when you have ln of a plus ln of b, because they're the same, can combine them, that will be a times b. Now finally, when you have ln here of something, let's say ax plus b is equal to ln of bx plus c, we can cancel cancel ln on both sides. So this is the thing we use to solve this question, and that is your question number one. Now let's move on to question number two. So here we have to expand this whole thing. In ascending powers of x, up to and including x squared. So we'll stop at x squared. Now, first thing first, we have to simplify this. There's many ways to do that. So one way is what? We do realize this can be broken down into 1 plus 2x power half, fair enough, divide by 1 minus 2x power half. Now, we can rewrite this as 1 plus 2x power half, multiply 1 minus 2x power minus half by the laws of indices. Now, you can expand this one by one, and we can find the values of x up to x squared. This is one way. Now the other way, I think it might be helpful as well if you guys know. For example, is I can first simplify this whole thing. 1 plus 
2x divided by 1 minus 2x. I can multiply by this 1 plus 2x here times 1 plus 2x, right? So basically, usually we'll use this tactic when we have thirds or complex numbers to kind of simplify the whole thing. But let's try, let's see what happens. On top, you will have 1 plus 2x squared divided by. Now, this is a minus b times a plus b. It is the difference of squares. That will be 1 minus 4x squared. Fair enough. Now, if you were to replace this one back in this square root that we had before over here, you will have what? So you will have square root. That will be 1 plus 2x squared over the value of 1 minus 4x squared power half. Now this is equal to, this will cancel out your 1 plus 2x times, if you bring this up, that will be 1 minus 4x squared minus half. Now, you can choose to expand this one, which is, you have to do this twice, or you can just simply find this in this form and just expand this one only in this case. Okay, so I will go with this one, it seems very easy. Now, obviously this one is binomial expansion, we should know the formula is what it is. 1 plus x power n. Now this have to be plus 1 to use that, and this have to be negative or a fraction to use that. So this one we can expand, hence that will become the formula is 1 plus n times x plus n times minus 1 x squared divided by 2 factorial. And then it keeps going on, but here we'll stop at x squared, we can stop right here. Now let's move on. Now we have to expand this one here, that will be 1 minus 4x square power minus half. Now this is plus 1, good to go. And here we have negative, good to go. So by comparison, so this is 1 plus x right here, and n is this one. So comparison, it was the n in this one is equal to minus half, fair enough. And x here is equal to minus 4x square. Fair enough, right? So now just replace this one back in the main equation or formula. That should give you 1 is 1 plus n is minus half times x is minus 4x squared plus n is minus half minus 3 over 2 minus 4x square square divided by 2 factorial. But now again, you don't need this one because it will be too much. We only need until x squared. So this will not be okay. So we just use this one. That will be. 1, cancel out, that will be 2, x squared. Here you go. So finally, we just have to expand 1 plus 2x times 1 plus 2x squared. That is 1 times 1 plus this 1 plus 2x times this one over here. So just expand the whole thing and see what we get. So first one is 1 times this, the same thing. It will not change. Here we have 2x times this become 2x plus 4x cubed, but we don't need cube here. Go away. That will become 1 plus 2x plus 2x squared will be your answer for question number 2. Now let's move on to question number 3. So we have to find the exact value. So that's a good indication. In the end, have to be exact of this integration. Now by observation, this one is algebra. This one is trigonometry, so we have to use integration by parts. Now the formula for that is pretty simple, this is uv minus integration of v and du. Fair enough, fair enough. Now using the late rule, we can break this, break this down. This is algebra is right here, trig is right here. Good. Now whichever happens first will be my u, so I can see a happens first, so the u will be x. Thus, dv will have to be sec square x. All right. Now, obviously, we have to find the rest, which is v and du. So du will be du by dx. Obviously, that will be 1. Thus, you can confirm du will be 1 times dx. The next one for this one, obviously, to find v, we have to integrate dv. So we should know differentiating, differentiating what? cos of tan, uh, sorry, tan x give you sec square x. Now if you think integrate this one will give you back tan x. So you should, have, you should have known this to solve this. 
Now finally, once you, have to, once you found the value of u, dv, v, and du, we place it back in your formula, as you can see. So u is the value of x, v is the value of this one, tan x, minus integration of tan x, and du is just 1 dx. Here you go. So we have x tan x minus integration of tan x dx. Now for those who have enough practice, you guys would be able to integrate this directly pretty easily. But for those who don't know yet, we can always go back and use our basics of integration to solve this. So what is this? For example, I can say, well, uh, tan x can also be sin x over cos x. Now because we have one in the other, so I can say, well, let w equal to cos x. Fair enough. So dw dx is the value of minus, so differentiate that should be minus sin x. From here, you will say obviously dx will become uh, dw divided by minus sin x. So we are solving this by substitution. Now replace back in your main formula, you will have what? Integration of sin x. Now cos is w. Now times dx, dx is dw over minus sin x. Cancel, cancel, you'll have minus 1 over w integration of du, which will be minus 1 ln of w, thus minus ln of cos x. So for those who know how to do it directly, you can just write, this will become minus, minus ln of cos x. Here you go. Now I'll simplify uh, what this will become. So here you have the value of what? That will become x tan x plus ln of cos x. Fair enough, fair enough. Now, what's next? We have to uh, obviously apply the limits. Limits will be pi by 4, and that will be 0. So replace and see what happens. That will be pi by 4, tan, pi by 4, plus ln of cos, pi by 4. Now minus, that will be 0 plus ln of cos 0. Now cos 0 is just 1, that will be 0 as well. Cancel out. Right, let's check. Cos of 0 will be will be 1. So here we use degrees. Cos of 0, sorry, that will be just 1. So ln of 1 is obviously 0. So here you will have tan of pi by 4. Tan of 45 is 1, that will be pi by 4 plus ln of, this will be what? Cos pi by 4, cos of 45 degrees. So you guys should know this by now, this is what? Uh, we can write this in many ways, in different ways, that could be 1 over, over root 2, or 2 over, over root 2, you can choose this one or this one for this value. So eventually you will have the value of pi, this one, plus ln 1 over, over root 2. Now simplify, we can simplify this further, how? Pretty simple. So, ln, this one is simply what? Again, we should know this is 1 over root of 2. Now, root of 2 is simply 2 power half. Fair enough, right? Now, okay, let me write this down again because it is simpler to kind of look at this as, as a different way. So, what is this one? I can say this is also equal to root of 1 over 2. Fair enough? Fair enough because root of 1 is just 1. Now this whole thing is 1 over 2 power half. Okay, good. Now from this I can say, well, this is equal to is equal to ln of half power half. That will be, send this one over here, you will have half. That will be half over here. Now what is this one? This one is simply half is 1 over over 2, which is 2 power minus 1, which is, is indeed we can write this here, and this will become 2 power minus 1. This will become over here, half minus half ln of 2. So eventually you will have pi by 4. This whole thing will become minus half ln of 2. Now, of course, exact value, you could stop right here for exact value. But again, if you simplify, it's always best, you know, to show that you understand how to use ln. It will become this as your answer. Now something here I believe is I've seen in the comments that uh, in the marking scheme we have sec over here which is obviously uh, not the right one. It should be uh, minus. And here we have plus ln of. 
So again, uh, we have sec. It, it is right. Let me show you why. Because this is the confusion that I see all the time in the exam. So in the marking scheme, we have x tan this one minus ln of sec x. Now, obviously, using the laws of ln, we understand this one is what? 1 over cos x, which is equal to cos minus 1x. Thus, if you send the power over here, you will have eventually, this one will become plus ln of cos x. So this and this are the same thing, so no, no confusion for this question. This and this are the same thing. If you see this in marking scheme, it is okay. And this is also okay for your answer over here to solve this question. And this is your answer in the end, right here. Pi by 4 minus half ln of 2. And this is your question number 3. The description below and click on this link to access the Patreon page for the full video. With that being said, good luck and thank you for watching.